I demonstrated some of the additional morphs for facial modeling and animation fine tuning in the final mouth and eyes scan optimization tutorials. With these morphs loaded into CC3, you'll find new morphs for adjust, balance, or both within many of the facial features, as well as adjust folders within the eye and teeth elements. Adjust morphs are for modeling. Showing the new eyeball sliders here, these provide a higher level of detail for morphing the eye geometries, which is important especially when working on realistic models such as those derived from scans. In fact, the majority of the new adjust morphs are specifically for more detailed modeling of the eyes, particularly in terms of the eyeball versus eye lens relationship. For scans and realistic models, being able to go into detail with morphs before any direct mesh editing will save a lot of time, and the level of detail which the new morphs provide, from fine-tuning the eye corners and eyelid depths, through to adjusting the inner and outer eyelid rims, will make a big difference to anyone working on realistic models in CC3. And whilst the adjust morphs are focused on the eyes, it's worth checking out the other feature adjust sliders for additional general morphs which complement CC3's existing stock and essential morph sets. So the new adjust morphs provide additional modeling functionality. Let's move on now to the balance morphs. I'll take the simplest example here on the cheek and show the wireframe at base resolution. I'll apply a relax morph. You can see that this morph can relax or contract the mesh across the surface. And applying the other cheek balance morphs, I can move particular edge loops relative to each other. Now, interpolation issues may not be visible on the static mesh, particularly when the wireframe is hidden. But problems can be revealed when testing expressions for animation. So here, the cheeks are bunching up a lot during smile expressions. And depending on how well balanced or unbalanced the original model's interpolation is, this kind of issue can occur at any of the animated features. So, the new balance morphs are designed to help improve interpolation where the mesh is imbalanced, and can save time before moving to edit mesh for vertex level fine tuning. Balance morphs are available for all of CC3's morph animated features, the brows, eyelids, cheeks, nose and mouth, and whilst they can't fix all animation issues, especially on models which are extreme and have radically different interpolation from the CC3 default, they can significantly reduce the time it takes to optimize models for animation. So, when testing expressions on scan-derived characters in CC3, if you do see problems in a particular area, it's always worth trying the available balanced morphs before moving on to more detailed mesh editing. Thanks for watching.